This unboxing should show you that deals can always be found even with very popular books. I talked about this in a live show recently, so if you want to know what it is, you'll just have to keep watching. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And I have a Silver Age first appearance that is actually my third copy of this book. All three times I have gotten really good deals on this, way below the cost. And if you watched the live show I did the other day, I didn't say what it was, but I gave an idea of what it was and gave the price. And hopefully this will show people that even books that are highly sought after, very valuable, and are going to be very hard to find this way, they can be found unless you decide to stop watching. Now this person did a really good job securing this. So let's get that out of the way. So I was telling people the other day, I was dropping a couple of hints, telling people that this book has a first appearance of a character that has been in a movie in the past year. Now that could be anywhere from 2018 to 2017. I'll leave that up to you. Now... As you can see, they did not place it in a bag and board, which is probably why I got this for lo so low. Because even if this book came out to be graded at a 0 0.5, this book, I still would have paid under what the going rate is for a 0 0.5 book. This was a person that was selling it as a buy it now option. So it was something that was newly listed that I found probably after about two or three hours worth of searching. You can find the needles in the haystack. Now, the funny part is the person who sold this pretty much doesn't know much about comics because they claim this to be, as they say, minimum of a very fine. Uh, when you see the book, especially the front cover, you will see there is no way this book is a very fine. It's probably a 4.0 to a 4.5, but even in the price range that I paid for it, that is probably going to be triple what my payment was for this book. So, before I show it, please make sure you wait until the end of the video to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. Uh, if you want to be one, all you have to do is be a subscriber, and if you ask for one in the comment section, I will write your name down. Just keep in mind... There are a lot of people on that list, so it may be a little while. So with that being said, let's show the third copy of a Silver Age first appearance, and then I'll tell you the price like I always do. So, as you can see, this is Fantastic Four, issue number 52. First appearance of the Black Panther. Now, this is my third copy. This is the most expensive I paid for this book. And all three versions of this book that I've received were all buy it nows, just newly listed, and paid amazing prices. One of them was a couple of years ago. I paid about $97 for the book. Had some writing on it. Probably a 3.0. The one most recently was about a week before the movie came out. Somebody sold Fantastic Four 52 and Fantastic Four 53 for $99.98, somewhere around that area. It came out to like $49 a piece. Had that one graded, it came back a 5.5. Now, this one's actually a lot better than what they showed in the picture, but it's definitely still not a very fine, because if you look at this book, and I will be putting this in a bag and board, there are a bunch of color breaks along the spine. Now, color breaks you can't do anything about, uh, they're right along the edge here, but everything else looks pretty decent, so it might actually be even better than a 4.0. You see there's a little bit of dirt here. Uh, this could be cleaned up with a dry cleaning. Well, I was going to say we could go through it, but since 
There is no bag and board. Let's go through it really quick. So we see it's got off-white, maybe like creamed off-white. Still probably, nah, actually more off-white. But it looks like everything's intact. Because remember, one of the big things you want to make sure of, uh, you want to make sure all the coupons are there. You want to make sure the staples are intact. So, of course, this is the first appearance of the Black Panther. Those staples look pretty darn good. I don't even see any rust. Coupons are intact. So this looks pretty darn good. Now, I spent over $100 for this book. So that's the most expensive of these books that I've received. But if you look up a 0 0.5 for this book, a 0 0.5 right now sells about $180 to $190. I paid with shipping and handling for this book. Now, keep in mind, this wasn't an auction. This was a buy it now just listed. I paid $165 for this book, and that includes shipping and handling. And just to show, they did include the receipt. So no one can accuse me of just making it up. As you can see, $165 with free shipping. First appearance of Black Panther. Fantastic 452. So I know there are people out there that will they'll see this book, this book or other books that I've shown, and they'll be like, oh, I'll never be able to get that book. $165 is the most I've spent on this book. Two of them I got this year. One of them a week before the movie was to debut. Now everybody knows how good that movie was and what a uh, how much money that movie made. This book has been hot ever since. So for me to get this book after the movie has already been shown and actually do, did extremely well, um, his part in um, Infinity War was, you know, he wasn't the main character. But to get this book for under $200 at this point, I mean, a coverless book you would probably spend about 100 154 This book looks like it would probably be between a 4 and a 5 because dry cleaning will clean it up a little bit. But overall, like I always say, as long as the front cover looks pretty good, you know, these little things on the edge I can live with. So let me know what you think about this. And hopefully this will inspire people to not give up. Because you see on eBay, I get deal after deal. Um, you can chalk that up as coincidence or luck, or maybe there's something more to it. Um, I leave that up to you. I try and help people to think in a different way to help them get better collections and to be happier doing it so i want to share this with you it's not to brag it's to show you that deals can be found even on incredibly hot books so don't get frustrated if you miss out a couple of times don't give up because that guarantees failure just keep trying and say i haven't gotten it yet Keep the right attitude. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to wait until the end to see the surprise subscriber shout out. Hit the like button if you like these kind of videos. Please leave a comment because you guys know I always love to respond. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. That thing, that thing. Yeah, that was pretty bad singing. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. If you want to check out some of my We Love Comics merchandise and support the channel, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.